Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with factored form quadratics. So this is a word problem, so we're told a soccer ball is kicked from 18 meters to the left of the halfway line and lands 14 meters to the right of the halfway line. And we're told the ball reaches a max height of 12 meters. If the halfway line passes through the origin sketch and find the equation for the path of the ball. So what's happening here is, let's say this is like the ground, and then here we're told that the, um, the halfway line is passing through the origin. So we could think of this, the y-axis here, as sticking out of the ground, right? Because it's going to measure the height, and so this here is the field, okay? And it's going right through that halfway point. So anything over here in this area <clears throat> is gonna be to the left of that halfway line. And then over here, uh, it's gonna be anything to the right of that halfway line. And then this is sticking out of the field, so it's measuring the height, okay? So what we're gonna do is draw this scenario. So we're told a soccer ball is kicked from 18 meters to the left of the halfway line. So that would be like over here because the halfway line, it's like our reference point. So we'll put zero here. So over here, 18 meters to the left, this point here would be negative 18 and zero. That's what the coordinate would be. And then what happens is this, um, let me see here. Okay, sorry, yeah. So this is, this soccer ball is kicked and then it comes back down like that. And then where it lands is 14 meters to the right of the halfway line. So that's gonna be right there. So it's kicked from 18 meters to the left of the halfway line, right here, goes up and then it lands 14 meters to the right of the halfway line. So it reaches a maximum height over here. The reason why I know that <clears throat> is because the axis of symmetry, it's gonna be in between the intercepts, as we know from previous videos. So it's gonna be in between negative 18 and 14. So we could tell the halfway point, it's going to be on the negative portion of the graph because this negative 18 is greater than that 14 as an absolute value, right? So the axis uh, is negative 18 if we're supposed to add the intercepts, right? So notice we'd end up with negative four over two, which would give us negative two. So we know the axis over here where this maximum point is happening, the x value, it's happening at negative two. That's why I put the maximum point up here. But even if you drew maybe like a rough diagram just to get these intercepts down first, you can then adjust your graph once you figure out, oh, the axis is at negative two. And then you could put the maximum point here. But I knew just from looking at the numbers that the maximum point is going to be somewhere there. So we know from that calculation that the ball is actually reaching a maximum height from a horizontal distance of two meters to the left of the halfway line. Right? It's still in this negative portion. So we know the x value is going to be negative 2. And then we're told that the maximum height of the ball is 12. So we know this is going to be 12, right? Because this here, this axis is the height. So that's 12. While the x value is basically the distance from the halfway line on the ground. Right? So hopefully you've got everything I just mentioned there. Okay, so that's the diagram right there of the path of the ball. And then if we wanna make an equation, notice we have the two intercepts. So we can make an equation in factored form because we have the two intercepts. And remember the M and the N are the intercept. So we could plug in the negative 18 and 14. So we'd have Y equals A X minus negative 18. And over here, we'll have x minus 14. So this would be a x plus 18, x minus 14, like that. And then we could solve for this a value. By the way, I shouldn't have used y because we're dealing with height. So 
it doesn't really matter again what um, what letter you're using, but because we're dealing with height here, it's just a more intuitive value to use H instead of Y. So now we got to solve for this A value. What do we have to do? We have to plug in some kind of other point on this graph other than the intercepts to solve for that A value. We've done that in videos before as well. Well, we could plug in this negative 2 and 12. Right, so one of the tricks in this question was figuring out that negative two. We have to find the axis, the x value where this maximum point is occurring because we need an x coordinate to plug in. It's not enough just to have that max height of 12 to plug in here. We need to plug in for the x value in order to properly solve for that a. So plugging in 12 for h and then we will plug in negative two and then plugging in negative two for this x, we'll have negative two minus 14, like that. Then continuing this up here, so the 12 remains on that left side, then we got the a, negative two plus 18 would give us positive 16, negative two minus 14 would give us negative 16, then we'll have 12 equals 16 times negative 16 gives us negative 256, so we'll have negative 256 a, divide both sides by negative 256, and we end up with a equaling negative 12 over 256. And then this actually simplifies further. We could divide by two, divide by two, so we'd have six over 128. And then we could divide by two again to get three over 64. So you could actually divide the negative 12 by uh, four to get negative three. And then the 256 divided by 4 would give us 64, like that. So that ends up being the, um, the A value. And so we could plug in this A value actually over here. That's where it's all simplified. So we end up with H equaling negative 3 over 64. And then those factors, X plus 18, X minus 14. You can also get the decimal of that if you want. I'll just keep it as a fraction. And uh, yeah, that's the equation of this here. And if you want to do a quick check, notice the intercepts, negative 18, positive 14. We could tell that that's all good. If you want to check this point, what you could do is you could plug in negative 2 for x, negative 2 for x here, multiply everything, and you would get a height of 12.